And I, I read something that you published last week that uh, Canadian exports are down 20% uh, compared to last year. What's that story about? Well, I call that a supply story. First of all, it's uh, just for a couple of months to start off this year. So first of all, not a big time frame. Uh, remember, all through this uh, start of 2011, we've had uh, supplies of fed cattle down. Packer kill levels have not been anywhere as close to uh, capacity. We've had those stories, of course, hitting the newswire. And, of course, when you've got less uh, capacity going through the, the packing plants, it's going to mean less capacity to, uh, to be available for export. And so I, at this point in time, I think it's something to monitor. Of course, a strong dollar is going to play into that, uh, that uh, scenario a little bit as well. Watch for things to pick up, I think, as we head through later this year. U.S. exports, we've talked about a lot, have been strong. It's just the Canadian exports have really been focusing. Um, they're down and obviously packers are focusing on domestic business. If by the end of July, these numbers are still holding true, how will we look, how will we look back on this? Well, then we're going to obviously look back and say, well, first of all, I mean, our imports are down. Uh, so that's the other side of the coin. Uh, so supply is basically staying domestic and uh, this is again goes back to the whole story of smaller cattle supplies, uh, smaller uh, available supplies for, for beef production in Canada. So these are things that are obviously going to be very import, important as we go through 2011 but don't think we're ready to hang our hat on exactly what the big picture is yet. Okay, so your expectation is we're going to recover from these poor export numbers? first two months? Yes, I, I do think we're going to see some better export numbers. And again, um, now that we're, uh, we're, we're hopefully looking at some potential uh, improvement in some other markets as we march through 2011, you know, maybe some, some news on Korea coming down, which would be great news. So what is our outlook right now? How do we feel? I, I, I sense there's uh, a little bit of a mood change going on and from the feeder's perspective. What, what, what is our outlook? I, I think this is a very seasonal, pretty typical, normal, make your spring highs. We all pretty much know that that's in the bag now. And now we head into those, what we call the summer doldrums. And uh, it's not fun transitioning from, from high prices to lower prices, but is this a surprise? No, I don't think so. Uh, are we... Are we still got some some lower levels ahead? Usually, markets bottom out somewhere in uh, in July, and I think we're on track for that. How about the calf drop? How, any is there any feedback on that so far as far as calving season? Well, lots of news stories, of course, picking up on some of these uh, blizzards that have occurred. You know, a month ago, the one that came through this part of the country uh, in southwest Saskatchewan, and then of course uh, this past weekend in southeast Saskatchewan in Manitoba. So. Uh, again, uh, hearing significant stories from producer to producer in the regions, but as we've seen historically, uh, when you spread it out nationally, of course, it's, it's not the same kind of impact. But again, we've got smaller supplies, so everything has a little bit more of an impact. And, and again, it's, uh, when, when you've, we start to see prices improve, and of course, then you have uh, situations like this occur, then it's, 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 uh, it always kind of is a, a sad thing. We should have lots of grass to eat. Should be lots of grass, moisture's just, uh, now we just need some heat units, but absolutely. Yeah, you can even see in the last week, even locally here at the ditches, everything's greening up very Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. How about the wet weather in the feed yards? Uh, oh. The impact on, we're, you know, we had the same issue last year, the impact on gains yeah, has to be a real concern. Oh, absolutely, and it's going to vary from uh, yard to yard and, and type of cattle that, that were on feed, say yearlings that finished out earlier this year versus calves that are just starting to come to town today. But uh, there's no question that conditions in southern Alberta, and, and I'd say uh, through a large part of western Canada, you're going to see that add to, to costs. There's no question about it. So uh, are there always surprises? Um, uh, yeah, we're getting a, a pretty loud awakening. As, as in regards to what extra costs can get added on when you get conditions like this. What kind of uh, impact in terms of the discounts has it had at the, to, the feed, to the feeder? As far as pricing tag of fat cattle? Yeah. Well, again, we've seen yields struggling all winter long, and uh, there's no question tag's been one of those factors as well. Uh, quality of feed, all those. So uh, it's, it's maybe not an out-and-out -out, uh, discount per se uh, on the top of the sheet, but it certainly is less uh, pounds per animal going out the door in a lot of cases. If we, if we jump back to uh, forecasting, as we look at between now and the July, what we think would be the July lows, do we expect just a steady trend downward or do you expect a bit of a bumpy up and down road? Well, I guess I've learned over the years things rarely go straight up or straight down and so I'll stick to that theory that 
Um, you know, feedlots are very current. We've been selling well into this marketplace. That should mean we do have some leverage, you know, a little bit of bargaining power, even on the way down. Um, and, you know, does the low have to be significantly far from, from, uh, from levels that we've seen uh, here in the last little bit? Uh, maybe not, but at the same time, I, I still think there's lower lows ahead. But uh, it, there'll be the odd week where feedlots will be able to maybe uh, fight for some better money if the Canadian dollar drops off or something like that. And on the unhedged cattle, the feeders are still profitable right now. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, okay Anne, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you again in two weeks. Okay.